super solemnibus canonizes. This was the moment when Pope Francis announced in Latin he would canonize English Cardinal John Henry Newman on October the 13th in Rome. Ita cu autoritate dei omnipotentis apostolorum Peti et Pauli ag nostra discernibus sut beati Ioannis Enricus Newman die tertio decimo mensis octobris avanno bis millesimo unde vicesimo in santorum album referato. The famous scholar and theologian Newman was born in London and baptized Anglican in 1801. He famously converted to Catholicism when he was 45 years old. This decision lost him his job in Oxford and many friends. However, this did not discourage him. He went on to be ordained a priest and fought for Catholic rights in England. His writings are still a source of inspiration for many people across the world. For the International Center of Newman Friends in Rome, they've been waiting for years to hear this news. They've been promoting the spirituality and works of John Henry Newman since 1975. According to Sister Mary Burgert, secretary of the International Center of Newman Friends, although Newman's cause had been officially opened in 1958, it was Pope Paul VI who got the cause moving. So in 1973, Pope Paul VI asked the Birmingham Oratory how the cause was proceeding. And they were quite surprised and maybe even a little bit shocked because, in fact, the cause had almost come to a standstill. And other the popes after him also loved John Henry Newman very much, John Paul II, of course, Pope Benedict. In the past, one of their frequent visitors and cooperators at the center was Colonel Joseph Ratzinger, who would later become Pope Benedict XVI. It was even him who beatified this now soon to be saint. For Pope Benedict, it was a big joy that he could beatify Newman in England in 2010. I had the privilege also to be there present at the, at the beatification. I could also together with the sister greet him during the beatification and he then said personally, it's a day of harvest today. According to Sister Birgit, Newman's beatification had a big impact on England and increased devotion to him. For example, she notes how one non-baptized young man, after watching the ceremony on television, converted to Catholicism and later entered the seminary. Another part of England highly influenced by Cardinal Newman is St. Mary's University in the UK. Its ethics is founded on his philosophy for education. According to Ruth Kelly, Pro Vice Chancellor of the University and previously Secretary of State for Education and Skills for the British Government, says Newman's ideas for modern day universities is crucial. I think it's absolutely at the core of what a modern university should be. So it's trying to create an environment in which graduates are encouraged to think critically about questions, not to accept um, teaching without thought but to really question rigorously within their discipline, but also opens to the transcendent. In time, the canonization of this Victorian gentleman will show the great influence he still has on many people, not only in England, but across the world.